Hi, my name is Barry Crumpton. Today I'm going to show you around our Range Rover Sport. Then I'll take you for driving it. But first, I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a three liter SD V6 HSE with a luxury pack. It's done 73,286 miles, 2012 on a 62 plate. Fantastic, uh, fantastic condition. Fuel economy, urban 28.8 miles per gallon, extra urban 34.9 miles per gallon and combined is 32.1 miles per gallon. Has a 0 to 60 time of 8.5 seconds, a top speed of 124 miles per hour out of a 256 brake horsepower, six cylinder, 24 valve engine. Road tax is 310 pounds 75 for six months and 12 months is 565 pounds. Now, everything's a compromise. Um, I've just read the miles per gallon out, but <laughs> At the garage, we've just um, John has just pressure washed the forecourt, and uh, it's probably about a hundred yards long, and we've we've used about five gallon of fuel. So our pressure washer does a hundred yards to five gallons. This does around about twenty nine miles to to a gallon. So I, I think that's pretty good value, to be honest. And uh, driving around in this. Absolutely fantastic cars. My favourite cars. This is probably my favourite shape. The new Land Rovers, uh, uh, the new Range Rovers rather, are, are really nice, but a um, bit of a girly shape in my opinion. This is, this is, uh, it looks fantastic. This is kind of a get out of the way car. Um, if you saw the Top Gear test on these a good number of years ago, I think it was probably 2004, and Jeremy Clarkson took on a, a, a tank, a Challenger tank, I think it was, and outmaneuvered it. And uh, all the time I'm thinking, why didn't he just run into it? Instead of maneuvering it, why didn't he just run into it? The, the thing built it, uh, like a brick outhouse. It really is the, the, the metal looks, the, the wings and everything, they look so substantial. And compared to the new Range Rover, again, which I really like, um, it, this looks a lot more solid and it actually I think it feels more solid when you're driving it anyway back to the car so we've got the xenon headlamps high pressure headlamp wash the front fog lamps front parking sensors multi-spoke alloy wheels and this one's got the the in my again in my opinion it's the multi-spoke alloys Range Rover came out uh, with this design that looked like a, an old German iron cross with a, a, another spoke stuck on. I didn't particularly like them. Got the side steps, the door protectors, that's an extra, and then the kind of sill and bottom of the door protectors there. The, the side steps are particularly good if you're vertically challenged. Uh, it just helps you kind of get that... Uh, that foot up and it into the cabin and I'll do the electric seat Russian roulette in a bit and and I'm pretty sure that the previous owners to this vehicle were, were probably about yay big um, and of course these are so easy to drive don't matter how big you are uh, you, you can you can whip one of these around or park it on, on a sixpence got the rear privacy glass and it's also got a tilt and slide um, electric glass sunroof with a shade band inside we've got the actually it, that, it won't do that because the keys are inside but if you've got the keys on your person you click that like so car locks you come to it with the keys in your pocket and uh, it just opens so pretty pretty good I have to say Power open and close tailgate, um, split folding rear seats, got the rear load cover there, rear parking sensors, it's also got um, a reversing camera, <laughs> the, the seats. In the back of a Range Rover Sport, um, the headrests 
the kind of set low down but there's obviously if you're if you're an adult the right in the middle of your back so that's how well Range Rovers are built Christ Almighty that, that's like that's like going to the gym anyway now now the headrest is up it's in a pretty comfortable position you see my my head's nearly touching the roof but these these seats again they, they just I just don't think they've ever been sat in big heavy duty mats in the back really really well looked after this car it's lovely inside I'll just take you for a ride So we've got the two Range Rover keys there. Uh, as long as you've got the keys in your hand or pocket or whatever, you can open the doors. It's keyless entry and it's also keyless go. So I'll just find somewhere to put them out of the way. Foot on the brake, click the start button. And uh, we'll do. There you go, as you can see the steering wheel's moving, this electric memory seat, steering wheel's moving, seat's moving, mirror's moving to the set position, that that was position one for the, the previous driver, and position two, well, there you go, let's see, see what position three is, oh, so uh, <laughs> a diminutive uh, family there, so let's just get comfortable. Get back a bit. Put the armrest down. You've got the big armrest in the centre there with a little fridge in the in the centre, and also you've got USB, uh, sorry, USB and iPod in there. So get down, and I shall just tell you the service history. So service history. 28th to 10th 2013 at 12,823 miles, HC MOT and service. 7th to 10th 2014 at 23,869 miles, HC MOT and service. 9th to the 9th 2016 at 41,024 miles, Land Rover, although it doesn't say where. Um, 7th to the 9th 2017, 47,347 miles, again at Land Rover. 10th of the 9th, 2018, at 52,121 miles, Land Rover. 16th of the 9th, 2019, 59,146 miles, Land Rover. 23rd of the 9th, 2020, at 71,909 miles, Land Rover, and it also had the cam belts done. So good service history there, and... Um, if you're one of the people that thinks you're better off taking your cars to a main dealer, uh, I'd, uh, I'd advise you to think again. Uh, the, uh, the one in particular that I just saw, I think was one of the mechanics testing a car out of a local dealer. I dealt with that dealer quite a long time ago. My car had just been valeted when it went in for a job took them four weeks to do the job they charged me two thousand pounds it wasn't right and my car was absolutely wrecked it looked like a tramp had been living in it and the uh, the tires were virtually shredded um, I've never seen such a mess in my life and uh, it, it was the same dealer anyway let's go As I said before, and anybody who watches our channel or keeps up with our garage, Range Rover's my favourite car. This is my favourite shape. Um, it's, the, well, they're, they're an absolute beast. They really are. Three-litre engine. I think it's got nearly a two-foot wading depth.
great acceleration, fantastic comfort. So these electric seats here, they're also this three position memory there. We've got power folding door mirrors. This particular car has got a electric glass sunroof. We just put that back because it's uh, raining. And you can have it in the tilt position if you so desire. And then you can also have the shade band across there, but it does make a difference when the sunroof's open, makes it uh, lighter inside, especially with this black leather. I think I'm sure it's called Oxford. Oxford leather. Sounds like proper leather, doesn't it? And uh, funnily enough, I uh, I always go on about buying things that uh, heavy duty things and if you buy a heavy duty thing like a Land Rover or a Range Rover it's going to last you a heck of a lot longer and uh, I always use this jacket as an example I cannot wear it out it's I'm well 10-15 years old it may even be older than that and it's still like brand new and I've worn it in all sorts of weathers and conditions and whenever I've got a, a rough job to do whether I don't want to wreck my clothes or anything I always wear this and zip it up and uh, it's still like brand new and I was just driving along that road yesterday in my uh, in the Range Rover that I'm using and I saw an old chap who must be he must have been 80 honestly he must have been 80 and he had a motorbike jacket on and it had the fringes on all the way up the arms, all the way up the top and across the back. And I thought, that's me in another 20 years. I'll still have this jacket on. That guy must have had his, his leather jacket since the 60s. But Range Rover, I mean, it, this, is, this is eight years old. It's like brand new. If you look after it, it will just keep going and going. Everything's heavy duty about it, the suspension, it's got nice, thick, deep tyres, none of these tyres that look like somebody's just put a rubber band around an alloy wheel, those are the ones, you go over a bump, you buckle your alloy wheel and you, you split your tyre, and not only that, there's no enjoyment driving them either, because it, around Preston especially, the roads are awful, there's so many potholes, this you just waft over them you know you bum 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 in a, in a sports car and uh, there's just no enjoyment in it see that guy in a discovery pulling a massive trailer probably doesn't even know it's on the back and uh, <laughs> funny uh, well, well two things uh, on the Starbucks car park that I, I witnessed one lady had her radio on full blast. Oh, that's the other thing, the, the radio and the sound system. Harman Kardon um, speakers. Let's just... Uh... Hey Siri, play music. Here's the music. Here's the music. Here's the music. Let's see what it's got in store for us. Yeah, class is true. One of my favourite records, sung by one of my very least favourite people. Uh, but the Harman Kardon speakers. So anyway, getting back to my story. Lady reversed out. Uh, I think it was a Renault. One was in a Renault Megane, the other one was in a Range Rover. And they both reversed out of a spot opposite each other on the uh, car park at Starbucks. And they reversed into each other. <laughs> the, the lady in the Megane just came to a sudden halt and looked like she'd got whiplash the lady in the Range Rover just drove off she didn't even she didn't even know that she'd uh, she'd bumped into anybody and then another person um, pulled up at Starbucks and drove into the bollard <laughs> and it's a it's a cast iron bollard about I don't know about two and a half three foot high and uh, Drove into the bollard, got out, never noticed, and went in to get a Starbucks. These are fantastic cars. I really, 
I mean, I, I prefer the sport. I've been using a Vogue. Beautiful car, absolutely beautiful. Uh, I mean, that, that's even harder for uh, my, my girlfriend's probably about five foot five. And it's, uh, it's comical watching her. It's, there's no side steps on that. This has got side steps. And it's quite comical watching her get in. She has to lean in, get hold of the armrest, get hold of the, the handle here, and then pull herself in. But, uh, you know, once you manage to get in, what a, what a great place to be. It's just, it's just fantastic. I mean, on, on this stretch of road a few weeks ago, a camper van re nearly ran into the back of me. And they, they say your life flashes before you in, in you know, when you have a close call. And the only thing I th I could think was, geez, I wish I was in a Range Rover. Um, but there you go. Right, back to the car. So sat nav, Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming. You've got your terrain response controls here, your, your buttons here, electric tilt and slide steering wheel. We've got cruise here, switch the cruise on there. We'll just increase the speed there to get to 70. I think I might have gone a bit too fast there, so I'll knock it down a bit. It's gone to 73, so we'll get it down to 70. And then just uh, pull in like so. So we're doing 70 miles an hour. Or we were doing 70 miles an hour. It's 1700 revs. So smooth. You get your phone control there, nav there. You've just got to agree you're not going to get distracted. Fortunately, I've used these so often now that everything is kind of muscle memory. You can remember where everything is. You get electric window controls here. We'll just get the um, just turn that on, turn that down, cool it off. Windows just starting to steam up. It was freezing cold outside, and here's me with a leather jacket on now, steaming the car up. Um, we've got lumbar support on the side here. Press that, cushion comes out in the back. There's a switch just a bit forward of that, and if I, I'm not sure whether you can see, but that that inflates the sides and holds you in place uh, e even better brings the cushions in around the outside and just holds you in place going around the corners on here we've got heated seats and it's just a switch it's a three position switch in the new Range Rovers you have a switch here which you press that switches the seats well it, no it doesn't switch the seats on it switches the display on to adjust the, the seats on. Then you have to mess about clicking on the screen here. But you also, you tend to want to put your heated seats on first thing in the morning when it's freezing cold. But when you get in first thing and you switch it on, it goes through a whole other display before you can actually wait for your, your heated seats to switch them on. So this is, a, this is probably my favorite it's it's my favorite collection of instruments in a Range Rover it's just about right I get that you you have to press the sat nav to agree that you're not going to get be distracted be, it's some obviously disclaimer so you can't see the sat nav people because you're stupid and uh, but everything else proper switches proper proper rotary dials that you don't have to look at you can feel it clicking there you, there you go turning it up and on, on the dash here you don't have to do anything you answer the phone there and you can dink it there you can change down on the left hand side change up on the right hand side your wipers your indicators on the left front and rear parking sensors actually just let me check I said it had a reversing camera just let me check 
There we go, that's the reversing camera too. Oh, that's just allowed two cars to overtake us. Oh, three cars to overtake us. Oh dear me, wrong side of the road completely. Four cars. It's a convoy. Right, we'll just give the, these a, a, a little bit of time. So anyway, rear camera there. We're back into drive. And we're off. Turn the fan down. That would be a bit noisy, but really, really comfortable. Nice. All the things that you shouldn't do. <laughs> Rest your elbows on stuff, but if you were that type of driver, it would be very comfortable for you. Let's just go. We'll, we'll just test the suspension here. Here we go. It's just great. Just load the front wheels. No clunks or knocks. Lovely car. Nice clear display. Rev counter on the left. Speed on the right, your information display in the centre. Really nice touches. The, the side steps, some side steps. You, you look at them and they just look like there's something off a flipping oil rig. These are nice contoured shape. They follow the shape of the, the black plastic at the bottom of the door. Nice and contoured, streamlined. Um, and of course, easy enough to get in and out of with them. Even for my girlfriend. Just absolutely brilliant cars. I mean, I'm, I'm using, uh, well, I was using a Range Rover Vogue SE and a lady from America has uh, kindly sent the money over for it and as soon as we get a deposit on a car I stop using it and the only thing we had in a, a big four wheel drive was a Porsche Cayenne. Lovely car, 13 plate. Um, this is a 12. This feels more substantial than the Cayenne and although the Cayenne's a lovely car um, I'd, I'd certainly rather have this and also I noticed today Range Rover have uh, moved into profit which is a fantastic thing and so they should they are great cars whenever you see anybody I, I noticed um, we're uh, we're trying to well we're trying to get the affiliates for uh, Hotel Chocolat and there's uh, for our website and there's a, a program on it every Sunday, I think it is, about Hotel Chocolat. And Prince, Princess Anne visited their uh, headquarters. What's she in? Range Rover. And, and it's not just in the UK, it's everywhere. You see anybody that is somebody on the TV or in a film, James Bond, Range Rovers, Mission Impossible Range Rovers, Miami Vice Range Rovers. Um, they are fantastic cars. Fantastic. And the weather outside today now, it was really it was it was sunny before, then there was a monsoon, then it was sunny again, and now there's a monsoon. And being in one of these, we, we flood round here if you if you can see down into that valley, sometimes that valley is absolutely you can't see any grass, it's all flooded. And the river by where I live flooded comes over the banks and uh, if you're in a normal car sometimes you can't get through or the ones that try and get through end up blowing their engine up but uh, you know not to get through in a Range Rover it would have to be pretty high the water but, uh, anyway we'll, we'll get back to the garage I'll show you how to pair a mobile how to delete a mobile how to stream audio 
how to uh, set the sat nav and uh, I don't think this car will be with us very long at all it's finished in white and it's got the black leather with the um, ebony contrast stitching Excellent. I'll uh, finish the test drive there and thank you for watching. Um, please uh, give our website a, a look over ggcars.co.uk if you're looking in the future and this car's already sold then uh, all our stocks on there got another lovely car to uh, <laughs> video tomorrow and test drive uh, and that's a new shape Range Rover I think it's a I think it's a 65 plate absolutely beautiful car um, so thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you in the next video.